In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to prepare a graphic in Illustrator to go to the laser engraver. Once you have your image size, or your, um, your paper size for the laser engraver, we need to have an image. To pull an image off the internet, let's say we want a minion. And so we have minions. So we want to search for images. Now, the laser engraver and illustrator, for our purposes, likes to use um, black and white images. So we're going to choose under tools, color, and we'll switch to black and white. And we'll also switch our type, the type of image, to clip art or line drawing. So let's say I want to use this image here. I want to try to make them a little bit bigger. I will right click on the image and copy image. I'll now go back into Illustrator and edit paste. So here's my image. Now the problem is with this image right now, if I zoom in on it, he's got all these little squares going on. This is a pixelated image or in our case is for Illustrator a raster image. Um, we need to zoom back out. Now what's going to happen here when we zoom back out is I want to be able to take this image and turn it into what's called a raster image. And I'll zoom back in so we can see the pixels. To change this image we want to do an image trace right here. Under image trace you can see how it changed all the pixels to lines. Next click expand and now that image will be usable for us but as of right now if we move our image to the desktop we have all this white information. The laser engraver will engrave all this white along with the image we don't want a big square of white going around our image. Well, let's get rid of this. To get rid of it, make sure the image is highlighted. Go to Object and on Group. Click off the image. Now if you click on the white area, you can hit Delete. Now if you have, real, if you have a lot of information, a lot of um, white that you're trying to get up to, you can go to Select, Same, Fill Color and that's going to select all the same fill colors as long as your fill over here is set to white and we can hit the delete key. Now it's going to be very important right now to regroup this image because if I try moving him right now I don't get everything. Let me undo that. Now to select all just drag a box around it and then go to object and group and now my image is ready for the laser engraver. I can still resize them. I can make them bigger. Whatever I need to do with them. But this image is now ready for the laser engraver.